Hello peeps, this is Dragart. Welcome back to a... Now it's not a redstone tutorial, it's more like a let's show of... Actually, this is a what I would call fail-proof item sorting system. Fail-proof because it features a overflow prevention mechanism. Um, so, looking from here, yeah, this looks familiar, right? This is basically the... Um, usual item sorting something so we are going to sort sticks here so but now what happens if like the chest where the sticks are stored full hopper full hopper full and also this one close to full right so what happens if this like fills up then that upper hopper would fill up as well and let's say we then like empty the chest and the hopper upper hopper would empty as well it would empty from the first slot on and if that slot is empty any item could take that place like right water buckets right oops <laughs> like that it was like that right anyway so question is um how to prevent that from happening well what we have to do is like we have lots of sticks like we would we want still to sort right but um we want that sorting mechanism to stay operational so what we are going to do now is add this hopper and as you see um it starts sorting Not yet filling up, still there's space here. But then comes this critical moment. And now we need to prevent it from getting actually entirely full. Bam, there we go, 30. And from now on, sticks are like routed here as well. The sorting mechanism would like to sort them out, but can't. So to prevent harm, it might be able to self-repair if um, the lower chest gets emptied now because um, now we just have like a few too much items here but the moment that chest down there gets emptied like so those items are going to vanish and now you see we still like Transfer the last sticks in here, and you see that this will empty back to the initial state where we were. So, this is basically the little invention I want to share with you. Um, sadly, it's not tileable anymore because, like. You know, this sidewards thingy here. And if you want to make the same thing with water, there are um, different stuff to like watch out for. Because we can't replace that hopper line with water because it would wash away those, um, yeah, those parts. So actually we have to go over the water and um, then come from the other side with a torch. This uh, sadly forces us to reroute this hopper line here because otherwise either this block, because being powered, would stop um, the, the hopper going along below or the torch when activated would stop the hopper going along below here. So we have to um, like make that shift sideways and uh, pass the items here. But besides that, it's basically the same thing. Again, we have three redstone to um, determine when the overflow um, prevention mechanism should like trigger. Then this repeater will start and this torch will go off and this torch will go on, blocking this. Yeah, I didn't fill them up entirely. I just wanted to show you the design. So blocking this um, hopper from sucking more items out of the water stream above it. 
yeah, basically the same thing, just different design this time for water. And yes, you will need to have this last block here or any other non-solid block that prevents the water from falling out here. All right, that's it already for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.